Welcome to the shop. Hello everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Garage Groove. We are on to Faison's second project that we are doing. If you remember, just last week, we finished up his RM. What a beautiful bike it turned out. But uh, that is more of an experimental bike for him, okay? What we need to focus on is his XR because that's the bike he's gonna be taking to the rides this year. This bike, the RM, he's gonna be learning, okay? So our major rides that are gonna happen as a family uh, is gonna happen on his XR. And his XR needs a little bit of work. So we know that the rear bearings, the rear wheel bearings were bad in it. So we need to do that. Now remember, this is all going somewhere. We fixed the Yamazuki because I'm taking that. We've got Sophie on a bike that he's happy with, okay? And now we're gonna do Faison's, R, uh, his XR because that's the next bike. These three bikes have to be working perfect because they're gonna be going all sorts of different places this summer, hopefully. Okay, so what we got for you this week is a two-in-one episode. We got two projects going on at the same time. Let's take a look. We got a mass of three different XRs. Take a look. We're going to start with Faison's original bike right here. This is a beautiful bike. If you haven't seen the episode on it, take, check out the episode where we've redone the motor. Now, we did, redid the whole bike, but unfortunately, I didn't have a YouTube channel when I did uh, all the bearings and the brand new cables and the, and the handlebars. I mean, we went through this bike pretty much how we did Sofian's bike. Well, ex until we started well except the, the, the design portion of it. I mean, we didn't uh, have any kind of a theme for this bike. We kept the plastics that it had and uh, it's original, you know, so that, that's, that's important too. Now, what we're gonna do with his bike is first of all, Faison, these are the smaller wheels on it. Mm -hmm. Faison likes the wheels off of this XR. The bigger wheels. Because they are bigger wheels. And since this thing's getting a little stubby, uh, I think this would kind of boost it up. And uh, we do have this vintage Navi tire. Well, well, we'll talk about that later. We, we, have, we have the knobby tire, the extra tire we had bought for uh, Sofian's bike we didn't use. Yeah. And we may use it. I don't know yet. It's 50-50. Uh, old is not always good. Yeah. So we'll have to look into that. But let's, let's talk about the main components of this project. The main components of this project is, number one, we are going to upgrade Faison's bikes by putting in these wheels the bigger wheels on it now we've checked the tires the tires are good the front wheel bearings are good we don't know about the rear wheel bearing so we'll check that and we're going to convert his bike with the bigger wheels then we're going to give him a bit of a graphics look here we're going to put some uh, yellow, background. yellow background we're going to clean up his tank we're going to clean up his side panels and then if you remember we had a spare gold chain kicking around from Sofian's project. This I believe is a 420 and just from looking at it, I'm not positive yet, it should fit. I think his is a 420. Uh, yes, if you yeah. look at it right here. Yeah, we ordered the wrong chain for Sofian. But, uh, we well, we didn't it. order the wrong chain. We, we converted his bike is oh, what yeah, we did. Yeah, 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 because, yeah. We, we had it. sprocket issues on it and we yeah. ended up going with his other he sprocket. Okay, so in this two to one, two in one episode, uh, Faison's gonna get the wheels from this bike, and this bike is gonna get the wheels from Faison's bike, and it's gonna become a smaller bike. Then this is missing an engine. Well, voila, we have an engine right here. This jalopy, nasty looking bike is actually a Honda XR. Uh, it is similar to. Uh, Faison's, in fact, I think it's more than similar. It's the same bike, except this thing's been to hell and back. 
and Faison's is like in really top notch condition, uh, other than some of the looks. But we're gonna fix the looks. Yeah, and the best end is obviously, as you can see, it does a lot for you. Uh, it this keeps, bike. Keeps rocks and stuff. We're gonna talk about this bike just <laughs> from a comical standpoint. Now, this is a backwoods bike. Somebody really mistreated ugly. this thing. I mean, they rode the it. Uh, let, 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 let's, let's talk about this here for a second. Th this is worth talking about. This is a comical bike. The handlebars. Okay, so we got a nice bicycle BMX handlebars going on here. <laughs> the gas tank, it looks like it was painted with whatever paint they had laying around. And I How's thought... How's your cool designs? I thought I was a bad painter. I mean, they must have painted the tank and then they started painting the walls or something because <laughs> it's got a bunch of house paint on top of it. Yeah. Okay, the seat looks good from one side, but if you look at it from this side, it's yeah, you look it's got a side, nasty gash in it. And what's scarier is the condition of the foam inside is real bad. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you see okay. like rats and stuff coming out of it. Uh, going down through, now, <laughs> this is a highlight of this bike. Look at that little fender. Now, I thought that was a yellow tag, but come to find out, somebody actually thought that's going to work as a fender. I hope it did. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> nine foot uh, zip tie. Though. I think the zip tie are longer than the actual fender. Are are more robust than the actually the fender is. Look Top at the look, look at the gaping hole in this uh, exhaust silencer. Yeah. It's horrible. Not, this hole is that. I don't have no muffler because this hole is bigger <laughs> than the hole that actually goes to the engine. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. Oh, don't forget the dark blue whatever yeah, fender. Yeah, with this Chinese pit bike head plate too. Oh, top notch. Ah, very nice. Look very at nice. that four, four boots. That's, that, that's all right, though, because most of these bikes that we get are horrible condition. Now, if you remember right, this bike, well, you, don't, you, you didn't have this on camera, but this bike was just as bad as that one. Yeah. And you did see Sofian's bike when we got it. That was a mess. That was ugly. You guys saw the, the RM when we first got it. That was a mess. This thing looks sweet now. Oh, that's a beautiful bike, man. Beautiful. And it runs like a top. Yeah, if you, the video last week, uh, you would see that. If you watch that, you could see uh, me riding it and starting yeah, it. Yeah, it was not the right weather for this bike. Oh, but we will give you a nice review on this bike. And you will be with us you as Faison learns that bike and gets more and more better with it. You will see that. Okay, so let's get back to this project. So what we're going to do is, this is obviously missing the motor. We're going to rip the motor out of this, the exhaust, all, all the electronics and that everything. It needs to get rebuilt because... Yeah, it's got nothing that, there. That's all you might so. need to see. The compression is like 20 pounds of compression. Well, I don't know. We haven't tested the compression on it. We, we will. But remember, when we bought this bike, it, it, it topped out at 70 pounds. So that was nothing. Now this thing's around 130, 125. No, it was like 140. Yeah. 140 on that. RM's okay. around 140. Uh, RM's around 135, which is good for a two-stroke. Okay, so let's get back to this. Now, we're going to take this motor. We're going to go through this motor. We're going to put it in to this bike. We're going to get this bike going, and we're going to sell it. We're going to make some money. Now, the cool thing is... I paid 80 bucks for this rolling chassis. I paid 100 bucks for this. So we got 180 bucks uh, in this. Then, let's come on this other side. Uh, I'll let you run the flashlight because we, we don't have any light on that side. Flash it on the motor of that this junk thing. Yep. Now, we have issues here. <clears throat> this cover is busted. I mean, they were open. The guy told me that the chain busted and it took some stuff out with it. Now, I don't know what kind of damage is on the inside, but we will. I got another cover. Uh, I have not inspected this at all. Now, I do see something right here. If you look right there, we got a gaping hole here. So that looks, it's, it's leaking oil out of there. Yep. I better move this back. 
is looking real crazy because uh, we can show you that uh, in when, where this thing was sitting uh, before we moved it here, uh, there's like a big puddle of oil because this thing's just leaking crazy and crazy. Yeah, yeah. So that's got to get fixed. And then the bearings are pretty good on this. The front bearings, at least. The back ones are kind of iffy. This bike has been mistreated really bad. Yeah. Look at this. Somebody's got somebody's got permatex in a head gasket area. You might you know that might be the issue. For low compression, because there might be leaks in there. Yeah, there's gonna be leaks in there. This so is right where the piston goes. I mean Yeah, yeah, that's where the head gasket goes. Okay. This thing was put together by a bunch of clowns. So backyard mechanics. Yeah, backyard deals. Uh <laughs> Okay. Yeah, at least the frame is white. Right? Look at the, uh, is that the, yeah, that's the right tensioner. Okay. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this motor out. We're going to go through it. And we're going to stick it into this bike right here. We're going to get everything going. This is a very nice rolling chassis. Like it is going to have these uh, Faison's wheels on well, these it. These are really beautiful, nice chrome. Very, very nice. We will clean Even up. these are pretty nice rims too, but... Since these are going to go in there, these are in the bike but about the same condition as these. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to look the same but a little shorter. Yeah. Now, I did give Faison the option of taking all of these red plastics and put them on his, but Faison likes like the old the school ugly. bike. I like the good ugly style, not that ugly. He likes, uh, he, he likes dirt bikes that look like dirt bikes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not all, like, pretty and... You know, so he likes that look, but we 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 will give it a classic look, and uh, we'll make it look nice, and uh, it it will look. We'll we'll try to do something vintage on it. I don't know what yet. Yeah. Maybe it might be just the graphics. That, we were thinking about maybe sticking a circle head play or something like that. Yeah, we'll see. I don't you know. want to do that because we got the yellow back. The yellow background is going to make a big difference. And we'll yeah. put your number on it, which is number five. Yeah, obviously. Yep, we'll put number five on it. And I think that's it. We don't need to do a whole lot. I mean, the motor is beautiful. It runs great. It handles great. It started a couple days ago in this junk, crappy weather. It's a Honda, buddy. It will start. It's cold-blooded like every Honda is. But, but yeah, it takes you. It's not, it's not going to be the first kick. It's not going to be a Yamaha type of bike after 10 years to start it. But yep. Just, it does start after you cut like many tire level kicks, it'll start up and it'll, it'll run. Yep. Okay, so the first step is to, to get Faison's done and get it out of the way. And then we're going to go ahead and sell this bike. The money that we get from this bike, it's going to go into the TL because we got to get new tires for these uh, yeah, those rims. rims. Beautiful. beautiful rims, yep. Because uh, we are going to do a video on that. And a little sneak peek is we did a time lapse of painting it and stuff. Yep, yep, we did. So we're going to do that, and then uh, soon after the, the TL, we're going to do the project that I've been looking forward to because it's a nice project, it's an easy project, and it's a fun project, and I'm very, very excited to see how it turns out, and that's the dyno. Okay. By that time, it's going to be springtime, and I really this want to... Gonna look, it's it's going to look like... It's going to look fantastic, it looks man. Like it's fantastic, and it's going to be, it's gonna be like the RM, man. It's, it's original. From 1993 or whatever it's it is, it's a time machine. It's a time. Like. It's a time machine. It's like so the RM. If you, if you, you'd be, be the cool kid riding that thing in the woods and stuff in 1990s. Yeah, I, I love old BMXs. Absolutely. Yeah, those, those old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mags, the, the OG, color. OG NOS mags. Yeah. Got those for 80 bucks. We did. brand new NOS on Amazon. Yeah. And they are real because. Uh, it has all the right marks on them. No, no, it's Skyway. It says right on there. Yeah. They've already seen that but episode. Yeah, these tires uh, were white at some point, but they kind of yelled out. Yeah, that's all right. We'll talk about it when we when we yeah, get to it. Yeah, when it gets to we got tires to Okay, so the first step is to get Faison's done, and then uh, everything left over goes to this one, gets that run, and gets it out the door. And then we're going to be left with the jalopy, and I don't know, hey, jalopy. And I don't know what we're going to do with this the thing race. yet. That's if there's if there's enough good parts on that, it'd be kind of fun to throw in a pit bike engine and just rip around on it and get rid of it and sell it. But yeah, I don't know. 
Some Maybe we'll just sell the parts off of it. You know, we got other projects to do, so. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get started. We will see you in a minute. So we are working on the wheels to the XR100 uh, Faisons. We're trying to pretty these ones up. Now, this right here is the bigger wheel that came off of this bike. And uh, we're getting ready to uh, letter it. We're going to letter it. And we got our time lapse going. So we're going to pretty this one up. And we're going to put it back on Faison's bike. And then we're going to take the old one, the little one, which is sitting right here. And we're going to put it on uh, this bike. Remember, this red one, we're going we're gonna to sell it. And uh, it's two and one. So we're going to see if we can get it done. I know it's going to take at least uh, maybe two or three episodes because we got to build the motor on, on uh, this red one. Plus we got to wait for the gold chain. So it's going to be a few things. Let's see how much we can get done. We'll see you in a minute. Look how nice these rims are cleaning up. Yeah. Look at this had a bunch of rust exactly how this looks. Yep. Look up look how nice and shiny this is. Oh yeah. All I have to do is wipe it down and all the tires in real good shape. There's shape. no cracks or anything. We're gonna soon. letter it. Look. Bearings are in good shape. The front wheel off of this thing and the back wheel. Thing's sitting kind of low. Faison's gonna do his magic. He's gonna clean this rim up and make it look shiny like that back one. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Russ turns like this liquid brown stuff. Hit, hit this, uh, hit that too. Look at that. I barely did anything. Very nice. Rims are in really good shape, man. Yes. It's, just, it's, been, it's, it's probably been sitting like not let's take let's take a look at some of the little stuff that we're doing here uh, it's hard to catch that on time lapse but you see th these are the little things that's going to make Faison's bike better now look at this thing it's all bent it's not it doesn't have one of these guides here but this bike does you see how nice this is we're going to use that we're going to use this cable guide here and uh we're gonna replace it all with this front wheel and we'll get we'll get a better front wheel on for him as well you see we got the back wheel on and uh, the lettering looks nice I think So we have started on Faison's upgrade. Remember, this is a two-in-1 project. As we're uh, upgrading uh, Faison's, we're going to be building that other one too. So let's take a we've uh, we've done a couple things. We've found some information. So first thing we found is here's Faison's old chain, and uh, this is the gold chain. They do not work. This is a 420. Faison's is a 428. This is a 428, but it's a rather short piece. It's not going to work. So what we're going to do is I I guess I'll just order him a, a 428 gold. Uh, he had his heart set on a gold chain. So we'll, we can do that for him. We'll put a, a gold chain on his bike. So we're going to get that coming. We have taken off the old brake pads. And we've put new ones on. Okay, this, you are looking at Faison's XR with the big wheels on it. That's what we've done. They are lettered. We've hooked up the brakes. 
Uh, we're waiting on the chain. If it's a little taller, it's going to have a little more speed. I think his first gear is going to be utilized a little better now. But uh, <clears throat> I think it's got a good look. It's definitely going to uh, give him a chance to sit up a little bit more. I think it's going to fit him a little better and for a longer time. I'm just getting some different angles on it for you. It's a good looking bike. We like it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, well like I said, we got the chain coming. And then uh, we're going to do a little bit on the graphics. Uh, and then we've been adding little things here and there. Um, there's a heat shield that this exhaust is missing that is on this bike. It's right here. You see that heat shield right here. We're going to take that off and put it on his bike. Maybe give it a quick little paint job. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of graphics on here. I cleaned up the forks right here. So we're going to put a sticker there. We're going to put uh, yellow backgrounds on it and put a number five on it. Um, should be good. We're uh, upgrading Faison's bike. And then, if you remember, we had talked about this thing. We bought this thing for 100 bucks. We bought this bike for 80 bucks. And together, we're going to build one nice one. Uh, after Faison has picked all his pieces and then we're going to sell it. So we have put a wrap on the first episode of this two-in-one uh, deal that we're doing with Faison's bike. Now, we have been working on this bike. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But let's take a look at Faison's upgraded bike. That's got the vibe of the old uh, YZ490s. You remember them from the uh, 85 on, they became white and red. And uh, of course it's nothing like it, but <laughs> it, it, it kind of gives that impression. Faison's very happy with it. We upgraded his seat. We upgrade, we gave him a real back fender. We uh, gave him bigger wheels and he's gonna have a gold chain. And uh, we're gonna we, we did a little bit of yellow background here, and uh, it looks nice. You know he likes the vintage look, and I'm glad he likes the vintage look. So we're very happy with this bike. Uh, it it runs awesome, as you guys know. You guys, for those of you who've been following this bike from the get go, uh, it's a really good running bike. But we're gonna keep moving because the next part to this project is this chassis that's sitting right here. Uh, we have about 300 bucks into this so far. I paid 80 bucks for this rolling chassis. We stole the wheels off of it. Uh, we're gonna put Faison's old wheels on this. And then I bought this thing for 100 bucks. So there's uh, 180 bucks. And then I got uh, 50 for this cover, 50 for the stator plate that it needed. But, uh, that is going to come on to the second episode because we need that engine. The engine that is on this bike, we need that to put in to this bike. So hopefully we can flip that. Faison's bike is done. Other than the chain, we have a gold chain coming for it. And that bike will be done. He's very happy with it. It sits a little bit higher. Which makes sense because Faison's a little taller now. And uh, it's got a vintage vibe to it. We like it. Looks looks very good. It fits him nice. He can touch uh, down, flat foot. So it's all good. Uh, tires are in good shape. Wheels look nice. Uh, so that's it. 
So we're going to catch you on the second episode on this uh, two to one, uh, two in one uh, deal that we're doing. So uh, I, and I do apologize. It's been a little while since I posted because I've been dealing with the sinus infection. You can still kind of hear it in me. I'm a little stuffed. Uh, I thought I'd come out today and do a little bit of work. I'm feeling a little bit better, but uh, we're going to keep moving on this. Get this uh, second XR sold. Faison's happy with his. And then this one, whatever parts are left, we're just going to uh, sell them as cheap as possible. And then we're going to move on to this guy. And then right after this, we're going to uh, jump into the dyno. So please stay with us on this, on this journey. Uh, thank you for coming along. Please, please, please keep hitting the subscribe button. You know, that drives everything these days. Uh, on YouTube, the subscriptions and the likes, please keep those coming and we'll keep uh, churning out projects. We hope to see you soon. Take care. Thank you.